Hello friends, family, and fans. I'm Harder D, and welcome back to Critical Threat. Uh, we're back playing Elden Ring. Um, so a problem happened, and my cam recording messed up on this episode. So sadly, I lost all of the episode of my cam recording, but not the gameplay. So I'm going to play the gameplay uh, so you guys can see it, and I'm just going to hang out and talk with you guys, because I don't know that way you guys commentary over time. So, without further ado, let's jump in. Whoop! There we go, there we go. Uh, sorry, I had to do some, uh, you know, fiddling. But anyways, um, I absolutely love this. Um, yeah, like, the fact that it's open world is great. It gives you a lot more options of attacking things. Like, um, actually, I think it's this episode. Uh, but you'll actually be seeing that... Going out of... You can now go at problems from different directions. Unlike the regular Souls form, formula, where it is... Yeah, that's a nice tree. Uh, where, you know, you're forced to go down a single path. Like, you have to aim at enemies, and the only time that you can get sneak attacks or whatever is if literally they are facing away from you because the game intended them to be sneak attacks. But this game is so much different. Oh yeah, I found a turtle! Oh, I love turtles! Oh, look at the turtle! Oh, look how happy he is. He is such a happy turtle. And, um... Hero ahead. Lovable sort ahead. Oh, yeah, look at him. He's so cute. And, uh, gold ting... Ting... Tinged excrement. We literally found poop! We found poop! <laughs> Oh, uh, and then there's these things. Uh, I didn't know what they were. Uh, I, a bug. I still don't know what they are, but they used to be poison, I think. I don't know, I didn't get close enough to see if I got poisoned from it. So, uh, yeah, this definitely was a nope situation. Uh, they kind of look like hearts, though, if you look at them, because they got kind of like a, a valves at the top. So, yeah. Um, but yeah, like I was saying, it's like, I love the idea of allowing you to go at problems from different angles, because it really allows you to do a lot of stealth, and I love stealth in games, if it's done right. Like, The Last of Us, mm, beautiful, I love the stealth in that, I just killed a deer. Like, I absolutely love the stealth in that game, because it really makes it feel good. Like, you're not just rushing in anymore, now this game is all about tactics. Because that's what stealth is. It's tactics. Like, I could easily, right now, snipe this dude with my spells. I easily could. But instead, I'm going to go in with my nice little short sword here. And, uh... Oh. Man, I messed that up. <laughs> Rude! There you go. Now let's smite him with some spells. There you go. Hmm. And this guy, like, see, this is a class where I can just run in and just, you know, you know, just hit him. Like, there's nothing stopping me from doing that. Also, my game, game is still glitching. Um, so after my friend adjusted my settings and stuff like that, I still have these light glitches, which really sucks. Um, but before, like, the whole screen was going black. So that's at least not a big problem. Oh, a cave. If only I had a light. Aha! I met it. I'd like, uh... You know, I'd like what I thought before. Guess what? I bought a torch. Which means I can go into dark places. Apparently I'm not, though, because we're still exploring. Because the one thing I love about this game is exploring. I love that about all games. Dark Souls was every corner I had to find something. This game is just a lot more horizontal so far. Hmm. Nope. Still not a fan of heights. Uh, that's for sure. Giant ruins. But yeah, and, um, so yeah, like I was saying, that, uh, ooh, a tumbleweed! I love tumbleweeds. Just because it's just a ball of weed that just rolls around like a mofo. But yeah. Oh yeah, so we're going back into here. So yeah, like I was saying, though, it's like the screen would literally turn black, and that was a problem. Um, because I couldn't see anything. But now, at least, it's just this light distortion, so... Yeah. Lost Grace Discovered. And, uh, that's a big thing, too, is that, um... 
Like, they were giving all these excuses, like, it could be your computer, it could be your graphics card. It's like, how about you just make the game run on anything? Like, that just me, just make your game run better and not have graphical issues. See, this is why it's so good to have a torch. And then, uh, ooh, there's some wolves. Okay, it doesn't spot me. Yeah, put out the, put out the fire. Wolf ahead. Try fire. Oh, that's nice. And, uh, what are we gonna do? We're just gonna snipe some wolves! Take that, puppies! Woo! Puppy murder! Oh, Jesus, coming at me. Alright, fire. I have fire, and fire does not seem to work. They are not afraid of fire. <laughs> it was still coming at me. Oh, ooh. This allows me to light up the place even more, so I'm even glad that they gave you that option, where it's like, if you hold that button, you can, even, you can light up even more. Well, so that way it's even brighter. And I love it. Like, I really do. Like, torches were great. Cave moss. Nice. Uh, the torch was a great thing that they added in, like, Dark Souls 2 so that we could really explore. I think Dark Souls 1 did have a torch, but, like, Dark Souls 2 were, like, they made the torch a bigger feature. And then after that, so, like, I always buy the torch. Like, it's infinite. It, uh, literally lights. There's a dog there. Take him out. And, yeah, I mean, it just lights up the area. I'm sure you can't use your shield, but who cares about that? You have a torch. What am I hearing? Oh, oh, another dog. <laughs> another dead dog. Woo! All right, looks clear. All right. There we go. Uh, is that a dude? Um, I don't know. Oh, it's a dead dude. Okay. Uh, legs. Yes, there are legs there. And, uh, if only I had arms. But, okay. Cool story, bro. Alright, and, uh, yeah. Yeah, like I said, I love the light dynamic. Um, because I can't turn my brightness up any further. Like, my brightness in this game is literally maxed out. And I still have a hard time seeing. What do we got? Um, thin beast bone. Okay, okay. And, uh, ooh. Cracked pot. Nice! Uh, cracked pots are great because they're used for crafting. Apparently, uh, you can recraft if you, ha like, you can reuse pots. Uh, so that's really good. Um, so lonely. You can reuse pots to build stuff. So, pretty much the more pots you gather, the more things you can carry on you at one point. All right. Oh, another puppy. Boo! There you go, dead puppies. Oh, there's another one. Oh, I love magic. I love how strong magic is. I love the fact that you can just, like, one-shot most things right at the beginning of the game, especially because you have the smallest FP bar at the beginning of the game. Now, I would definitely love to play this game, but as a hybrid class, I mentioned it later, too, like, uh, in a later episode, because I've already done a bunch of recording. Uh, I would absolutely love to get, um, like, a hybrid class. Something that's got magic as well as melee, because both are just super effective. Like that, um, when I'm going up behind people and, uh, like, stabbing them in the back, that's weapon damage. And yet, because there's so many options of it, like, I feel like that's a really big advantage to me. Whoa! I forgot! I yeet down there! I don't know why it yeets. Like, just out of nowhere, it's all like, yeet! Alright, okay, what do we got here? Um, Alright, boss fog. Okay, what do we got? Traverse the mist. Yeah, sure. Nope. Wait. Come on. Am I going in? I don't know. <laughs> I don't know why I'm sitting here and hesitating! <laughs> there we go. Boss Fog. Beastmen of Forum Azua. Oh, yeah. Oh, this guy. He feels like a Bloodborne boss because he just launches himself at you. Like, you really need a lot of space. Woo. One thing I did find out, though, is that you can actually spam your magic attack. So I've been using it one at a time, but it turns out... If you repeatedly hit the button, you you cast it faster. That is amazing! Woo! 
Oh man, this guy. Yep, yep. Drink some juice. Drink some juice. There we go. All right. Yep, yep. Gain some distance on him. Drink some blue Gatorade. There we go. Oh jeez, he's right in my face. There we go! Woo! Praise the sun, y'all! Hey! Enemy Felded. Uh, Flame Drake Talisman. Woo! What's a talisman? Uh. Just looking around. You know, there's a thing there. Because anything people can jump upon, they have to leave a message. And then, of course, I look around the boss room. Why is there never any items in boss rooms? There we go. Uh, I have a talisman slot. Yeah. Uh, boost fire damage negation. That's pretty awesome. I do like that because, well, more fire damage the better. Mm. But you think with a boss room, like, they would have something along the sides. Like, I don't know, like, just something. Even if it's just, like, healing items or something like that. Just give me something to feel good. Alright, and, uh, what's this? Uh, return to the entrance. Oh, that's nice. I love that they give you a teleport from the boss room to the entrance of the cave. So that you don't have to backtrack the whole way. I love that. Quality of life changes in this game are huge. Gross, I'd cave. Mmm. But before I go out, I'm definitely gonna, you know, rest, because I just defeated a boss. There we go. There we go. Put away the torch. And we're back outside. And the dudes are back. Yeah, see that light flashing there? That's, uh, that's the glitch I was telling you about. And then we got some bars there, and... Like, they recommend... Why can't I... Why can't I just sneak attack that guy? I don't know why, I just can't sneak attack him. Lord Sworn Straight Sword. Huh. I never really checked it out. I should actually do that. See if it's better than my short sword that I'm currently carrying. There we go, root resin. But yeah, like um but Yeah, like I said, I don't know what's causing that. My graphics were already turned down. That's how I got the black screen to stop, but like it's still doing this. I think it's on the game side. Because a lot of people are experiencing the same problems, so I definitely think it's on the game side. Alright. Okay, just gonna... You know, sneak up on this dude. And... Boop! There we go! Oh, that's the good stuff. Right in the pooper! <laughs> nice. Ooh, bolts. Okay, and Kiriki. Kukri? Kukri? I've never actually read that word. Oh. Mm. This guy's minding his own business. Let's go mess up his business. Screw your business! Ha <laughs> ha! Yeah, see, like, I always have to, like, two shot things. And honestly, it's like I would like to have a nice build that has both magic, a good defense, and a good, like, physical defense. Like, I would think that's awesome. Maybe I'll play around with some builds. Um, uh, yeah, that would definitely be good. Play around with some builds. Oh, check out this guy. He's, uh, I don't know what he's looking for, but he's looking in the wrong direction. And, of course, another slash, just because. There we go. And then, uh... But yeah, I would like to try out more builds. Um, sadly, I don't know why Dark Souls or FromSoft has a giant hate against, like, cheating. Like, or using, like, cheat engine or anything like that. Like, because here's the problem I have. I like making builds, but I don't like waiting to, like, half the game to get the weapon I need to make my build. Like, if I build a whole build around a weapon... Oh, these things, they're super weird. I don't know what they are. Woo! Take that! Take that! Oh. Hey! Get back here. Woo! The thing just rolled away. 
But yeah, the thing is, the like I like making builds. So it's like, good example in Dark Souls Two. There's a weapon called a Red Rust Twin Blade, and you only get it over halfway through the game. And I know a lot of people would be all like, "Oh, well, you just play New Game Plus with it then." It's like, why? Why can't I play it on first game? So one thing I use a lot is with Cheat Engine is to give myself the items that I want right at the beginning so I can enjoy my build right from the beginning. Because I shouldn't have to go through a whole playthrough just to enjoy a whole game of my build. But they're so against it. Like, this game, every time you load it up, will literally remind you. It's all like, remember... If you cheat at all, you're get banned. And 180 days? That's half a friggin' year! Why do you get half a year banned for the fact that you want to give yourself a better sword? Like, I mean, I get it. Like, and it's mainly a single player game. I don't care. If you're, like, doing this with. If you're cheating with, um. Call of Duty or, uh, Modern Warfare. Or that other gun game that a lot of people play, like Overwatch or something like that, or like that makes sense. It's literally an online battle versus battle game. But Dark Souls games are pretty much single player games with multiplayer element. Like this whole thing. Have I yet played with another player? Nope. Like, sure you can. But okay. So why the huge ban? Because I maybe want to boost my stats a little early on. Because, you know, Dark Souls games are hard. Or if I want to give myself a cool weapon right from the beginning. So that way I have, you know, let's say if I'm making a lightning build or something like that. And I get my, give myself a lightning sword. So that way I'm doing cool lightning things from the beginning of the game and I'm really enjoying it. Like, why am I punished? Why is everyone punished for... Enjoying the game their way. That's just me. I know there's a lot of Dark Souls people that are going to get very angry from this. But um, this is a D&D channel. I don't know why I'm playing this. But oh, I'm doing this because I need to upload eventually D&D stuff. <laughs> this is just a good way of getting it started. But um, that's oh, the ear. But yeah, that's the thing. It's like I don't understand why the game is so heavily against you modifying your own game when literally a game like Skyrim the biggest thing that people love about it is the mods because like you can change things so why is Dark Souls so against the idea of people changing things or giving themselves cool gear that's like a boss weapon like again Dark Souls 1 um, you have to defeat most of the lords or you have to make your way past all and Orlando into the um, the uh, library of something, and you have to battle Seath the Scaleless and cut his tail off for the Moonlight Greatsword. If and there's like the Moonlight Greatsword is like the only weapon that purely scales off of like intelligence and it's purely magic, so it's a great um, gish weapon for mage like battle mages. Why do you have to wait for over half the game to get the weapon that's really good for your build? Like, it's just stupid. Sure, if you want to do some, like, on the offline play, I mean, online play and stuff like that, like, who cares? Yeah, sure, the guy's got a Moonlight Greatsword. What does it matter if he's got it now or later? Like, you know what I mean? Ugh, anyways, rant over. Seriously, they need to back off. A 180-day account ban for modifying your game. The game that you paid for. It is your game. A single-player game. Yep. That makes sense. Mm. Oh, yeah, this part. This is exciting. Because uh, we found this grace. And a camp. There we go. Ah, Grace. Be so much cooler if it was a bonfire. Oh. Uh, hello. What's up? Hey, it's the Chicky Boo from the beginning. 
greeting. Hey, what's up? Traveler from beyond the fog. Everyone just calls me Tardis. I am Melina. Well, nice to meet you, Melina. What's up with your eye? I offer you an accord. Awesome. What's an accord? <laughs> What's an accord? Like an accordion? Have you heard of the finger maiden? Whoa! No, but I do that in my spare time. <laughs> they serve the two fingers. Nice. Offering guidance and aid to the tarnished. Fantastic. But you, I am afraid. Maiden, Why does everyone make fun of like have to bring up that I don't have a girlfriend? I can play the role of maiden. Oh, nice! Is this your way of asking me out? Turning runes into strength. All right. To aid you in your search for the Elden Ring. Yeah, yeah. Lord, Lord of the Rings, one ring to rule them all. You need only take me with you. Oh, okay. Have a girlfriend. To the foot of the Erd Tree. <laughs> uh, yeah. Sure. And it's settled. Okay. Summon me by grace. To turn runes into strength. All right. Cool. Ah, another matter. What's up? I bequeath to you this ring. Okay. Spectral steed whistle. Use it to traverse great distances. Okay, cool. It will summon a spectral steed named Torrent. Oh, that's cool. Torrent has chosen you. Ah. Treat him with respect. Nope. I guess it's gonna be, you know, used for whatever Shall I need. I turn your runes to strength. Sure, why not? Let my hand rest upon you for but a moment. Okay. Share them with me. All right. So love, love. Yeah. You know, standard. Your ambition. Dark Souls. The principles. Oh my God, she's just follow. talking. All right. So. Yeah, we got like Viger, which is HP, Mind is FP, Endurance is Stamina, and Max Equipment Load. Thank you for putting those back together. That was really annoying that they split those two stats up. Okay, I got Strength. Um, yep, got Dexterity. Got Intelligence. Well, that's always handy for us because we're uh, Magic. We got Faith and Arcane. What do you mean Arcane? Isn't Arcane and Intelligence the same thing? Like... There we go. Uh, explanation. Accumulate a figure that represents overall attributes of strength. You can level up using runes. Oh, that's my level. <laughs> Whoops. All right, let's uh, scroll down here. And uh, Okay, arcane. Uh, attribute governs discovery. Also affects holy defense, vitality, and certain sorceries and incantations. All right. Uh, attributes required to perform glintstone sorceries. Also boosts magic power of intelligence scaling sorceries and improves magic resistance. Okay, so I don't know why there are two things. And faith. Uh... Attribute required to perform sacred incantations. Cool, mine. Uh, all right. Well, uh, okay. Get some more FP. Wait, wait, wait a second. I played a Dark Souls before. Increasing HP is actually so much more important than ever increasing your other stats. Oh, she's gone. Horseback riding. Use Spectral Seed Whistle to summon and ride your Spectral Seed. Steed. If your Spectral Steed dies, you can summon again, but it will cost you one flask of Crimson Tears to do so. You can dismount while using the by using the Whistle again or by pressing, you know, down on that left trigger. Or left button. Alright. From pouch in the main menu, you can equip six items to your pouch. Uh, yep. Alright. Uh, cool. Alright. There we go. Rest up real quick. And, uh, now we gotta go raid this place again. Yay. Time for raiding. After I run in a few circles, apparently. Woo! Come on. There we go. Pick up some rowan fruit. Okay. Yeah, see, this is what I was meaning when I said that you could take things out from, uh, like, you know, different views. Like, you know, 
Before, you could have came on to it when I was approaching the area, but now I'm going for it from the side, which gives me a total different advantage. Alright. There we go. Just peek around here, some nice ruins. Gatefront ruins. Okay. Oh, it's gate front because it's in front of the gate to the storm castle or whatever. <laughs> I just got that. All right. So that guy's carrying something. Um, it looks like a horn. So my guess is he might sound the alarm if he spots you. I don't know. I haven't got spotted by him yet. So Ooh, right there, the kidney. Yeah. And of course, you need a second flash because. Of course, he's not dead. All right. Lauren straight sword, bolt, smithing stone, rowan fruit. Nice. All right. I think I'm hidden in this tall grass bushes thing. I'm not 100% sure. It's like they took a lot of the ideas that they had, like the Sekiro hiding in the grass, um, to like the, you know, and like, like I said, even just stealthing. Stealthing is something that is amazing. Because look at this. I'm getting so many backstabs. Whereas, like, before, the only way that you would get backstabs is if you were just really good at running around an enemy. Or B, you, um... Oh, good, he didn't say B. Or B, uh, if you, like, parry or something like that. But in this, oh my jeez, it's so much better. Nope. Friend's dead. He's fine. He's, he's just really sleepy. Ooh, take that! Woo! Down he goes. Oh, I hate this. I hate their invincibility frames. It's like, let me slash him while he's on the ground. There you go, I'll pick this up. Godric Soldier Gauntlets. Nice. There we go. Jump up here. And that is when I discover that there's chests! Woo! Free stuff! What do we got? Flail! Oh, that's sexy. I love flails. They are, mmm, mwah, gorgeous weapons. Alright, so we pretty much cleared this side. So we're going to go back and we're going to clear the other side now. Alright. Oh yeah, we're gonna go check this one, because if that one had a chest, there's a good chance this one will probably have a chest. Okay, uh, nope, not this side. Uh, okay, and, uh, okay, ooh, chest, chest, chest! Yeah! Lord Sworn Greatsword. Oh, okay. That's cool. Nope. Oh, hello. Hello, Phantom. That's a big sword you got there. Big sword, big shield. Oh, I'm scratching the chin. There we go. Yeah. See, there's a thing. I've only so far faced a lot of uh, melee characters like this. Like a bunch of soldiers. So, beginning game being um, a melee character would actually be very beneficial. Um, just because... They have this counter ability that's fantastic. I think I've used it already. Um, but yeah, it's a counter ability where if you block, you can just deal damage back to them because that's awesome. And I really enjoy it. Alright, just waiting for the guy to come back. Jeez, just take your sweet time, why don't you? And that guy there, the guy with the big shield, I think he's uh, fancy pants because of the fact that he's got a fancy hat. A fancy hat usually means higher rank. There we go. Yeah, see, he's carrying a, um, a horn on him. So like I said, I'm, I've never seen the horn go off, but I'm assuming that's what it is. Alright, and, um, 
in the pooper. Woo! There we go. Cutting down. Nice. And back into the grass. Oh. Nope. You're gonna flee. Did anyone see me? Oh. There we go. Hide in the grass. Like I said, I love the stealth. I didn't know how much I wanted stealth in Dark Souls until I played this. Like, I've literally played three and a half hours of this game. I already want a sequel. More this, please. <laughs> this game, like I said, even just the mechanics that they have now, I love it. And I haven't even explored, like, most of the game. I haven't played with any of the weapons or anything. I've literally just been a mage. And I already love this game enough that I want a sequel. Heck, I don't even I don't even know anything about the story besides, you know, Lord of the Rings, Gandalf came and destroyed a ring or whatever. A bunch of people were dead. Uh and uh yeah. Then you're here. <clears throat> you know, for Dark Souls, that's actually a lot of story right there. <laughs> because Dark Souls don't give no crap about story. Apparently this was written by J.R.R. Martin and, you know, the guy that wrote uh the guy that wrote, uh, uh, what's it called, uh, Lord of the Rings, yeah. And, uh, so, you know, for someone who wrote that much more. Oh, there's the counter. Ooh, and it knocked him down. See, and then you can get a free shot against it. How is being a melee character not amazing? Like, I, like, I don't have a sorcerer right now, but I am having a glorious time as a, uh, as a rogue, pretty much. Because, like, I am just whomping. Rune fragment. Oh man, it is glorious. Oh, visions of treasure chest. It does look like a giant treasure chest, and it should be. All oh, those bird things. Ugh, I hate them. I haven't even battled them, and I just hate them because they look like they're going to just ruin my day. But yeah, like I said, it's like I, like this part that I'm playing now. I had so much fun playing this because it's, like, I feel like I'm just doing so well. Like, I'm doing tactics. Excuse me, I'm taking my time. I'm sneaking around. I'm taking enemies out slowly from the shadows. Like, I definitely don't feel, there you go, Gatorade. I definitely don't feel like, you know, this is really one-sided. Like, I'm just really enjoying going through and just murdering these folk at my own pace. And the fact that it's so easy to do this. Like, look at the detection of this. The guy doesn't even see me or detect me and boom, we're in the pooper. Like, it's so good. I definitely want more of this. Tree and beast surcoat. Oh, nice. It's their armor. Tree and beast. Oh, hello, sir. And dog. Okay, uh, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me, don't see me. Oh. He's like a zombie. Hi. That was your mistake. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! The bushes have swords. It's like the hills have eyes, except for the bushes have swords. <laughs> Woo! Back in the bush. Alright, dog. Uh, you know how I feel about puppies. around here and oh oh there's another dude over there all right here we go. let's see if we can sneak around here okay let's go some of this because I'm compulsive so we got to destroy things ooh mushroom See, like, look at this. Like, I am using my short sword more than I'm using my magic. And that's a good thing, because, honestly, in Dark Souls, magic is master and trumps everything. But this... Yeah, yeah, right there. Like, this is just so amazing. Like, I can imagine getting, like, a nice big shield and just blocking attacks and just use that counterattack ability. Like, the fact that it opens up to a counter, I mean, a critical hit... Oh, that's just amazing. I 
And what is this? Map. Lumgrave West. Nice, I got a map. Sweet. Alright. Chug some more. Oh, yeah, I remember why I keep chugging stuff, is I keep trying to duck. That's why I keep chugging my juice, is I'm trying to duck, and my brain is just telling me to hit X. <laughs> That's why you see me constantly chugging if I don't need it. Oh, man. Yep, that's where all my reads are. My oh, hello, puppy. Boop! <laughs> oh, another puppy. Boop! Oh. Oh. Guy's all like, hey, who killed my dogs? I'm all like, <laughs> the bushes. All right. Guess they're dead now. All right. Ba -ba 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 -ba. Some more graphs. Ooh, there we go. Oh, there's two dudes. Alright. There's fancy dude. You know how fancy his hat is. It's got a plume on it. Alright. Cut your beard. Alright. Oh, well, he's coming. He's coming. He doesn't realize that his life is coming very quickly to an end. <laughs> like this. Uh-oh. Uh, second guy has spotted me. Ah! Run away! Run away! Run away! Okay, can I hide the bush? Can I hide the bush? Oh crap, he sees me! That's not polite. Okay, hide the bush now. Okay. I don't think anyone sees me. The bush protect us. There we go. Back to the bush. Okay, okay. Whew, we almost, uh, almost lost there. Okay. Ugh, there's two guys there. Okay, let's sneak around. I still want to get all the guys on the sides before I actually get the um, guy in the center, because I feel like the guy in the center is probably going to be a hard, bit harder to do. Let me make sure all the enemies are gone. Go around here. Okay. Okay. Yep, nice and... Uh, Nice and empty. With a phantom on a horse. Hey, buddy. Don't mind me. I'm just gonna ram it in the pooper. Woo! Ha <laughs> ha! Love it. Oh yeah! Smithing stone. Nice. Oh crap! Uh, you don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. You don't see me. Oh sweet! He didn't see me. <laughs> oh, he turned around. <laughs> That's his downfall. Never turn around when you're around me. Because I'm going to... There you go. Nice and dead. Uh-oh. Boss is coming. Quick, 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 quick. Back in the grass. There we go. Stealth, 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 stealth. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Ba -ba -ba -ba. Is he coming? I don't know he's coming. Ooh. There he is. Okay, back in the grass. Alright. This guy's whole platoon is dead, and he doesn't seem to care or notice. Alright. And I'm just gonna... Boom! Right in the kidney. And holy poop, you still got a lot of health. Alright, time to magic! Woo! And, uh, no thank you. Oh yeah! Magic time! Ow! Ow! Ooh, ow! Ooh! Right in the face! You died. Well! That was a pickle. Alright, uh, State of Morocco or Last Great Grace Site Visited. Huh. Well, guys, that's all we have time for today. Um, 
We're going to continue this on next time. Thank you so much for joining me. Make sure to please like, comment, and subscribe. It really helps if you do all of those things. Um, definitely sub uh, subscribe because it's going to be boosting the channel. And, uh, yeah, I mean, that really will help us out. And uh, until next time, you guys have a great evening. Bye-bye.